Now the next thing I would like to go through is in the actual rating itself on your transformers. The ratings tell us a lot. I, uh, you, you can get a lot more information on that transformer other than what the coil voltage is. You, you can learn a lot more. And I think after you, we go through this rating system, I think you'll see what I mean. And I'll take the, the typical, the, the common ratings that, you, that you'll be using. Okay. Now, let's start out with the high side rating. Now, on a name and data plate, there's going to be some symbols on that plate. There, there's there's three symbols that we that we want you to know, and you'll you'll they'll be common to you. you you'll take them for granted after a while. But there's a if if I look at say the rating, and I'll I'll uh, put a typical rating on here. If I have a, a 2400 slant 4160Y dash 120 240 volt it might look like this. Now normally that's going to be a straight line, but I think I'd run off the picture if I did, if I went straight off the end. Uh, now, there, there's symbols in here that, that, that you should be familiar with. This slant right here, this slant that's drawn here, that stands for same winding. There is a hyphen out here, right at the end, and that denotes a separate winding. In other words, this is a high and that's the low side. So the hyphen stands for for a, a separate winding. Okay, now there, th those are the two most common, but there's another one that you're going to see, and uh, that's an X in there. And uh, that's a dual rated transformer, what they call multiple. That's a multiple transformer. And uh, let me let me show you what a rating there would look like. This this could be it, it, it could be a long rating. I could have I could have a transformer that would look like this. It could be 2400 slant 4160 Y dash. One okay. I gotta do this right now. We'll have a Y X in there. There's where my X is now. X seventy two hundred slant twelve four seventy Y dash one twenty two forty volt. Now that's a long handle on that thing. But what that is is a dual rated transformer. Remember we talked about we could series or parallel the high side. And that we could uh, we could have a, a lever or a switch on the outside. This, by the way, locked in position, it's sealed in position. Uh, and then there's a set screw. Uh, that transformer can be applied to either the low or the high rating, depending on whether you have it set on low or high. Um, here you can see that this tra particular transformer, there's an X between this rating and that one. And it depends on whether I have it set low or set it high as to which one of those we would use. So those are the, in other words, there's the slant, there's the multiple. Slant denotes same winding. The hyphen denotes separate winding. So here we've got the high side and there we've got the low side. Now, these numbers that I've got here for a high and low side, I want to go through and give you the application of the different ratings. And on your transformers, it doesn't just put down the coil voltage and then you figure it out. What you have to do is look at that rating, and then you have to understand by the way that rating's written, just how that transformer is designed. And I think what I'll do, I'll start out with transformers that are, say, good for, uh, good for a Y connection only. Now, a transformer that's good for a Y connection only would have just a single bushing on the high side. Now, we're talking single-phase tubs now. 
it would have a single bushing on the high side and then on the inside and that'll be your H1 on the inside your H2 is grounded to the tank so the winding would look something like this it would come over and then you'd have your winding and then it would be grounded over here and then this would be your terminal did I get that in the picture? Barely. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit. It'll, it'll come down, and then this is the way it would look. And then the H2 is grounded to the tank on the inside, and then this would be your H1 terminal. Now, if you're on a on a Y, say if you're working on a Y system, and of course most all your all your connections you see are going to be going to be single phase connections and uh, you know that's going to be the application, then why go to the added cost of that added bushing? Not only that, you can uh, decrease the size of the windings by reducing the insulation value as you get closer down to, uh, to ground potential. So you save quite a little there. And it's just a simpler, uh, it's, it's, it's probably more reliable from the standpoint you have one less bushing, you know, and that sort of thing. Uh, now, the, the rating on the tub for those transformers would look like this. Uh, you could have uh, 4160 ground Y slant 2400. Then of course your hyphen would be, be, be right after that. Another one, and there's a lot of these around the country, another one that's really common is going to be 12470 ground Y slant, uh, slip 7200 now, 7200 and hyphen. Uh, 24,940 ground Y slant 14,400. Okay, now those transformers are good for Y only. And you want to remember that. In fact, the, the, you look at that rating like that and what it's got is that ground Y in there. And it'll have your larger value ahead of the smaller value and that sort of thing. And what, what it tells you, now these numbers are system voltages. And what it's telling you is if you have a 4160 system, you connect it Y and that's all you can do. Y, Y on all three of them. The voltage that's going to be on that transformer, if I connect Y, now what you want to, here's another thing you want to keep in mind too. We drew the Y diagram, we drew the delta diagram. We're going to use that term sometimes rather loosely. We're going to say if you want to connect Y, that's phase to ground. If you connect delta, that's phase to phase. So remember that term. If you're going to connect Y, that means phase to ground or phase to common whatever the case might be. So now remember those ratings right there. The, 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 high, the high side windings are going to look like that. And it's good for Y only. And in that situation, you see, you're going to use this system voltage and connect it to, to ground. Remember, system voltage is a phase-to-phase -phase value. If I connect Y on that system, then I'm going to have 2,400 volt. You know, I could even take a I could even take a 7,200 volt delta system and connect Y. I wouldn't have anything to anchor to. But if I would take 7,200 and divide that by 1.73, you would find I would have 4,160 sitting here. Now that that isn't the voltage I would need. If I would turn around and say take a if I would turn around and take, uh, say, uh, a 4160 system, which would look like this, and okay, my phase-to-phase -phase value here, if I would take uh, this system right here, you see, I would have 2400 to ground. This is, my system voltage is a phase-to-phase -phase value, 4160, and uh, 
If I divide that by 1.73, my phase to ground is 2400, and that's the voltage that I want on that transformer. Okay? Now, now this, this 7200 delta system, uh, there's some uh, transformer ratings that I want to come back through and show you where you can float. You can actually float and tie to that. Some of the, there's, there's, a, there's one transformer in particular that when I get to a Y and a Delta connection, I'll come back to that and show you how you use that. But that is kind of a, that, that, is a, that is a rather uncommon connection to connect uh, Y uh, onto, a, onto a Delta system, although it is possible. You aren't going to be able to ground it, but it is possible. Okay, now this was our Y only transformer. There is another one now that, that, that would be common for a delta only transformer. And if I have one value given to me, uh, it could be uh, 12,000 dash, or I could have 67,000 dash. Those transformers, when they're written like that, there's only one value there. They're good for delta only. And on a delta only, you've got a situation where you've got two bushings, an H1 and an H2, and it's good for a delta only. Now you might say, well, why couldn't I connect that? Why? Well, when you connect delta only, you tie higher voltage on, you have lower current. The current value now has to be uh, such that your conductors can handle that. In other words, your, your conductors inside the, the winding on the high side have to handle the current across there. So if I go higher voltage, lower current, I can have smaller wires inside. So that, that, that transformer might be designed for, for a delta connection only. And the, in, written like this, that, that would be the case. Another one might be you might have uh, a dry type transformer where you have 480 dash. Uh, I could have a dry type transformer, you see, that, that down here might be rated uh, 240 slant 120. Um, that's, that's a dry type. I'll get into low side ratings in a little bit. Okay, now, that's the second one second rating for a high side. Another one, and uh, it's really more typical probably on your uh, municipals, utilities, and so on. Uh, if you have uh, 2400 slant 4160Y hyphen, uh, 7200 slant 12470Y dash, um, 14400 slant 24940Y dash. Those are good for, for Y or Delta. When they're written like that, when I have a 1 to 1.73 relationship with a Y behind it, then that's good for, uh, for Y only. By the way, back there on that delta, I failed to mention that, but uh, when you have a delta only, say in 12,000, what it is, you, it's, it's good for a delta only on a 12,000 volt system. In other words, system voltage would be 12,000. So I failed to mention that. Uh, on this transformer, it's going to look like this as well. You're going to have two bushings on single phase tub. Now, the way you read this, and and this is this is critical to to making your transformer connection. The way you read this is that I read this first number and say, if I have a system voltage 2400 volt, I would connect that transformer delta, which is phase to phase, of course. Delta would be a phase-to-phase -phase connection. If I have a 4160 system, I would connect it Y. So you see, on that system, if I connect Delta, I would have 2400 volt on that transformer. On that particular system, if I connect Y, I would still have 2400 volt on that transformer. So basically what they're doing, they're singling it out and they're telling you how it has to be connected on each system. 
just understand that there's no delta written in here, but it's understood. Same way on all of them. With this transformer on a 7200 volt system, I would connect delta. On a 12470 system, I would connect Y. There is another one that, uh, I guess when I drew this diag delta diagram on, uh, earlier, I was really referring to that, but there is one transformer that's, that's, that's not common now, but there's a few of them around. 4160 slant 7200 Y. And I should have brought it up at this time instead of the time before. But uh, this transformer here, 4160 slant 7200Y, when we made a lot of two-phase connections, the conventional two-phase connections, we used to have a lot of these transformers around. They aren't even a standard rating anymore, but I know the utilities have got them. But with this transformer now, what it's saying, if I have a 4160 volt system, I would connect that transformer delta. In other words, this system was act would actually be a Y system, you know, like this. In other words, between my phases, I have 4160. But what I would have to do is tie this transformer delta onto that. So, so I would be putting, uh, the voltage that I would apply to that transformer would actually be 4160. And uh, then I would have the transformer connected right. Now, here's, here's, here's what I was working up to last time. But if I had a 7200 volt system, which would have to be a delta system, it's telling me that to have the right voltage on, on, uh, on this transformer, that I would have to connect Y, and of course right away you say, well, Y on a delta system, I haven't got any ground to tie to in the center or anything, but you could float it. So, so it would be possible to take that transformer on a delta system. Now remember, 7200 across here is my, is my system voltage. All these numbers are system voltages, the phase-to-phase -phase values. And what it's saying on this 7200 volt system, this transformer would have to be connected. Why? Well, now there's nothing to tie it to in the center, but what I could do is float it, tie all of one terminal together, and uh, then tie it to my phases. If I do that, if I take 7200 now and divide it by 1.73, you would see that my phase to, to uh, common value in this case would be 4160. So, so I could. I could tie Y onto a delta system if I could float it. Now there's times you wouldn't be able to float it. One time you can't float is, is when you have a Y on both sides. A Y on the low side always gets grounded in the center. And if I have a Y on the high side as well, that has to be grounded as well. So it wouldn't be a, a good situation there to do that. But now in this, in this situation right here now, these transformers here are good for a Y or a Delta on those systems. 